doing yet another Christmas update. I'm sure you know the drill by now. Uh, this is probably the seventh or maybe it's even the eighth uh, Christmas update. I've lost count to be honest, but uh, it's, yes, it's another Christmas update. And we're going to have a look at the long range CFS model uh, to see what model is predicting uh, for Christmas Day, the weather in the United Kingdom for uh, Christmas Day. Day. Uh, now, if we get on with video, I just want to chimney advertising. There'll usually be a video ad over lay my weather videos at gasweatherbits.com. Please play those video ads. You'll be supporting gasweatherbits.com by doing that. And I want to mention Gav's shop. Of course, Christmas is getting very, very close now. So if you want to uh, get any uh, Christmas presents from Amazon.co.uk, you've really got to uh, get skates on. And you can do it through Gav's shop. So just click on Gav's shop button underneath this video uh, player. Go through to Gav's shop. And then from Gav's shop, click on the Amazon banner go through to amazon.co.uk and you can do your Christmas shopping there you're not strictly to weather related products by the way I've been, uh, I've been asked uh, from a couple of people whether you're just restricted to uh, weather products you're not you can buy absolutely anything you want at all uh, through amazon.co.uk and Gav shop so uh, thank you very much for doing that and supporting the website so we've got three charts to look at from the CFS model. We've got uh, the chart for Saturday, Sunday, and when I'm doing this video today, uh, Monday. Uh, so we're going to start off with Saturday's video first of all, and Saturday's chart first of all from the CFS model. And this was the uh, situation uh, that the CFS model was predicting for uh, Christmas Day on Saturday. And it was showing high pressure here, stretching from the Azores in towards France. A low pressure out in the Atlantic, so a very mild, balmy uh, southwesterly wind. So if this was uh, right, we'd be looking at a mild Christmas day. Uh, we've been seeing a few of these charts cropping up just recently. Actually, CFS has definitely trended a little bit towards uh, milder outcomes uh, for Christmas over the past week or so. Uh, so this is another that uh, with southwesterly winds here coming across the country. Would be a nice Christmas day, really. Good deal of sunshine, mainly dry weather away from northern western Scotland, and temperatures perhaps up to around 9 10 degrees, 50 Fahrenheit, so not too bad at all uh, for walking off for Christmas dinner. Probably not all that seasonal. Now, as we move through to uh, Sunday's chart from uh, CFS, uh, that this one has a uh, high pressure sitting right over the top of the British Isles. Uh, so, this is a colder chart, it's not very cold, it's not uh, really wintry, uh, but it is a more seasonal sort of feeling chart with this high pressure here. Although it's probably quite mild and unsettled for northern Scotland actually. Actually, uh, with this westerly wind uh, but elsewhere we're under a, a high pressure so we're probably looking at frost and fog uh, night and morning and by day perhaps up to around uh, five six degrees so around the seasonal average really uh, although if we're under anticyclonic gloom then it would be a lot cooler by day uh, but not as frosty uh, tonight but if you want a white Christmas and it can't stay the next best thing is probably uh, to have it frosty and uh, this will more or less enough uh, for many of us so that's quite a uh, seasonable sort of feeling Christmas Day chart in, compa in complete contrast to this one this is one from Monday uh, this one's got low pressure really dominating the weather here this is very unsettled chart we've got an uh, area of uh, rain here stretching out across the country uh, heavy rain as well and we bring down a cold northerly wind here on the northern side of this low pressure so some of this rain through more being uh, to study northern England and we'd have snow showers feeding into Scotland a strong westerly wind up to gale forces so this will be a proper uh, stormy sort of uh, windy wet uh, Christmas day if it's like, certainly not very pleasant for going off going out and off that uh, Christmas dinner so that one uh, much more uh, unsettled type pattern uh, but the other two were more settled the first one quite mild the second one uh, was actually a little bit on the cold side with frosty mornings probably but this one is wet and windy but there's still no sign of anything really cold uh, coming along from the CFS model uh, we had that really extremely cold one just the one uh, a couple of weeks ago and since then we've not really been seeing anything uh, that you would say is particularly uh, cold or wintry uh, so it's interesting that the CFS had that one very cold chart I'm sure you remember it well and since then we've not seen one uh, cropping up so that is uh, quite an interesting trend now I'll be doing this all over again on Saturday Saturday might be the last time that I use the CFS model actually after that we may go towards the uh, generic GFS model the global forecasting system uh, because Christmas may be coming into the 384 hour mark uh, after Saturday uh, so yes come back Saturday it may well be the last time we use the CFS model that's it for now thanks for watching